Alright, welcome to part 7 of my tutorial for XBMC for noobs. Um, in this part I'm going to explain how to add music. It's pretty straightforward, it's just like adding videos. As long as our tags for our music is correct, like in part 6, uh, we shouldn't have too much hassle. So let's get into it. So first thing we want to do is click on music. And you're going to get this soon. So we want to now add our music folder to XBMC. So click on add source, just like we did with the videos. Browse. And search for your music. Click OK. And OK again. Now it's going to add it there. You can see it's been added. So just like in the videos, push C. And scan item to library. Now it's going to go online, going to search for all our um, album, artist covers and information and backdrops. It, it comes out pretty good. So I'll just wait for this to finish and I'll get back. Okay, so it's just finished downloading all the info for it. Um, you'll notice if you click into music, you still get this view here. So go back out. And now if you push down on your music screen, you're going to get this menu here. Um, you can set up playlists. Now you can also add music videos, which I might cover later. Uh, it's just like adding videos again. So yeah, I won't cover that now. You can search by genres to organize all your music. So hopefully all your tags are done correctly and you should only have, you'll have all the music that you want in each genre. Now the way I like to view my music, and you might be different, is through artists. Um, also in here there's top 100 songs that you listen to. Um, you can add some music plugins, which we can cover later. Uh, Last FM and stuff like that. So I search through my music, usually through artists. So I'm going to click on artist, and it's going to bring the screen. Alright, you can see here Rise Against hasn't scraped an image. I figured that it wouldn't. Kings of Leon doesn't have one either. Uh, this is going to take a long, long time because you're going to have a lot more music than I do. So, we want to now press I, which is information, I think. Um, press I on the keyboard and that'll bring this menu up. Now, it has scraped the info for rise against so that's good I just want a thumbnail which it didn't scrape so I'm gonna click on thumb and there's nothing to search for the thumbnails you might click on thumb and it might say uh, downloading image and it'll download a whole lot of images it doesn't have anything right now for rise against uh, if I did have a thumbnail like a picture of rise against somewhere saved on my computer I could browse for it and also add it that way uh, but I don't have anything at the moment one other thing is you can change the background the fan art and this there is the current one I have and these two are just slightly worse quality pictures again if I wanted to bring in my own one off my computer that I had gotten off the internet um, like a wallpaper or something I could browse and search for that so let's say that this information wasn't right um, I could click on refresh and that's going to try again and look for rise against on the internet uh, it's come up with rise against so I'm going to choose the the option that suits me um, it's going to hopefully go through again and it might even pull up a thumbnail but I doubt it so yeah I, I could this is something that you're going to have trouble with too you're going to have to just work your way through and add all your own little covers and albums if it doesn't scrape them one other thing is if you're getting the wrong info you could try to go into settings go into music and 
on library your default scraper you could change that um, I usually usually always use last FM but sort of didn't work too well anyway so go back to music and I'll go back to artists so yeah you're going to have to go through and change all these yourself I mean it has picked up Pearl Jam has picked up Muse and hasn't picked up Kings of Leon so get all your get all your backdrops and hopefully get all the info on the bands too sometimes it won't pull up the info and the next thing we want to do on this screen is we want to change the view now to get our music looking really good changing the view is pretty vital so I think I might choose this view here now it's just like movies you can change our, our movies um, you can change this thing that pops up from automatic you could change it so that it's always up or you could change it that it wasn't up by going on to info and I think I'll leave it on so just give it a second it's going to change now it's always going to be on when I'm and you can see there this is a pretty good view gives me my info gives me a picture of the band and as long as I add my own pictures all these here they will all have their own pictures and if you've got a lot of music and a lot of bands um, you'll be able to add and get it looking get this screen looking really good so choose your view put your images in rescan it if you need to remember to always push I and rescan and browse for images um, so the next screen is clicking on a band, a certain band. So say I want, oh, I'll just go with Muse. Now it's going to bring up all the albums that I have of Muse. Um, you're going to notice that a lot of them might not have album covers. Like these are all the same picture. And that's just because some of these albums are soundtracks and you know EPs and LPs and things that last FM just hasn't really any clue that exists so I can basically I can add my own info there or I could change the scraper again and try and get everything get all my information it's pretty straightforward I mean if you have a problem push I work through and add your, add your info um, you'll notice that a lot of popular albums should have should have all the info there like this is a well, the latest album so if I press I on that it doesn't have an album review um, a lot of them will have album reviews so I could try reload I'm not sure if this is going to work it hasn't come up with one um, it's not a big deal I could change my scraper and play around and get it to go get get it to scrape the album review but you're not going to get reviews for every single album it's just it's not going to happen unless you're listening to serious mainstream albums uh, that way you probably won't have a problem but if you're listening to underground or any indie or alternative stuff it's not going to scrape all your all your info correctly for you so you can also go through and change your views in albums if you like um, so if I wanted when I click on Muse and I click and it brings up all the albums maybe I want this